As parents, you've probably heard how important it is to make sure your child is getting a balanced diet. The issue with the word balance is that it's really subjective. So what we want to show you in this video is a really simple method to ensure your child is going to get the right balance of nutrients at every meal. And this nice balance will ensure that your child is growing and developing optimally. So here we have the healthy plate model and you can see that it's split into three even sections. We've got the vegetables, the carbohydrates and the proteins. So this is essentially the backbone to a healthy diet for kids. Now it doesn't matter if your child follows a vegetarian, a vegan or an omnivore diet, you can still achieve this balance, it's just about knowing what goes where. So try and aim to get this nice balance at most of your child's meals. Aiming for this balance is really going to help with optimal growth and development, it'll help keep your child's gut nice and healthy, it'll prevent dips in energy levels and improve their concentration. And it also helps to keep your kids feeling nice and full. So you want to start by filling around a third of the plate with non-starchy vegetables or fruits. So things like carrots, celery, cucumber, capsicum, onion, garlic, lettuce. Veggies are an essential component of the plate because they're loaded with vitamins, minerals and fibre. Now fibre is great for kids' gut and it also helps to keep them nice and full. And remember, each different type of fruit and vegetable contains different vitamins and different minerals. So that's why variety is so important. Aim for lots of different colours and two to three different types per meal if you can. Next, fill a third of the plate with carbohydrates. And the key to look out for here is whole grains. So think things like pasta, brown rice, quinoa, couscous, oats. These types of foods are much higher in nutrients, particularly fibre, which is really important to keep children feeling fuller for longer. Keep in mind that starchy vegetables are also included in the carbohydrate portion of the plate. So things like potato, sweet potato and corn, even though they are vegetables, come under the carbohydrate portion of the plate. The main reason we want to incorporate carbohydrates as a third of this plate is because they provide the body with energy as well as vitamins and minerals. And finally you want to aim to fill roughly a third of your plate with lean protein. So foods like red meat, chicken and fish, dairy products, legumes, nuts and seeds and tofu. Protein is a vital nutrient for children. It's considered to be the building block of the body and it plays a huge role in the development of muscles, the immune system, hormones, and it's also really important to help keep children feeling full. Now this healthy plate model is meant to be used as a guide. You're not always going to have your veggies, your carbohydrates and your protein all laid out on a plate like this. A lot of the time you're going to be making things like pastas, stir fries, curries, where it's all mixed in there together. But what we encourage you to do at each meal is to mentally check off that you've got those three components of the plate model. So make sure you've got some carbohydrates, some vegetables and some proteins. 